With more than 70% of cocoa beans grown in West Africa, environmentalists warn the delectable taste of chocolate comes with a heavy price. Many farmers go to these virgin jungle areas, clear cut it using uh, sometimes forced labor or slash and burn techniques. They devastate the area. Another factor, there's something called swollen root disease. Prices have increased. The yields have not only dropped, the diseases have gotten worse. The drought has gotten worse. California Cultured is working on solving those problems by extracting cacao cells and growing them in the lab. Basically, a whole bunch of little baby cocoa cells floating around a mixture of sugar and some plant hormones that come from many of the plants we eat. It's very hard to get it to taste correctly. We're having to go through thousands and thousands of different cells to evaluate. It's too much of this or too little of that. So it's all about being truly the Goldilocks recipe. That cellular recipe, along with cocoa butter and sugar, are mixed inside a melanger. It liquefies and is then poured into a mold ready for eager chocolate lovers to have at it. So what sort of flavors are you picking up on this one? It's definitely very fruity. Yes. Right? So this is a prototype batch that we created that we kind of concentrated on elevating some of the fruitier notes, mm -hmm. um, trying to mimic more of the fine chocolates out there in the world. Okay. How close do you think it is to the chocolates you, you want to create? So it is our goal to create a chocolate that's indistinguishable from some of the mass market chocolates out there mm -hmm. that are pretty common, you know, maybe like a Hershey's Dark. So we. We probably have another couple of years until we get to that point. I'm one of only about a thousand people to give the opportunity to try this type of chocolate. And there's not a lot of competition either. In fact, the CEO says he's aware of only one other company in Israel and one in Europe that are also doing cell cultured chocolate. He doesn't know of any others in the United States. Pearlstein says the major chocolate companies have been supportive of their work. You could grow it without slavery, you could grow it without deforestation, and we could potentially grow it anywhere in the world, and you could even make it healthier. So these are all the things that many of the largest companies want to do, but they couldn't really do anything because the technology was not there. California Culture is also working on using the same process to produce a cultured coffee. It's all part of a scientific revolution, aiming to change the way the world's resources are consumed and the way humans are fed. Mark New, CGTN, Sacramento, California.